big um gem kit and um I'm dragon. And I'm um, five and we have this. It's this it's a magnifying glass because some might be really, really tiny. And we have a little brush and we have a pick to like scrape some of it off. Um, so we have um this giant box right here. Um, and this is the back. This is how many gems are in here. And this is just a design. And um, these are real jewels. So there's this pretty one, and there's also this. And um, there's a little whip um for me to help open. Okay, we're going to be opening it. I'm going to be starting now. to soften it with the water, pour some water on it. Sure. While you're doing that, I'm gonna look at this manual that it came with, Mega Gemstone Instructions and Learning Guide. Pour some water right here, one inside of the whole earth. Put one on my hand. <laughs> I like to wait until the water soaks up. like there's supposed to be 15 gems in here. 15. Mm -hmm. Here are some of the gems that we might be able to find. Can I see? Sure. Um, I believe it's Bowen and that's Fool's Gold. Gold. It does look like gold. It's called pyrite. Um, what? This is called pyrite. At first I thought it was Fool's Gold. What do you know about fool's gold? Um, Papa showed me and talked about it. And some people said, um, look, we're rich, um, but um, fool's gold, um, look, actually, um, fake gold. And somebody said, um, we're not rich because it's just fake gold. Mm -hmm. And that's the end of my story. Um, I, you, I think you see some red? Dot of some red? I'm not sure I see it's anything red. yet. Do it inside the hole. Whoa. Oh, you poked a hole right through. What? Whoa. 
Whoa. Oh, they came the wrong side. <laughs> Reflects light. See, it reflects light. Mm -hmm. Here? Let's see. To see? Yeah, I see something. Oops. Well, dirty. Yeah, we might have to use the, the brush here. Yeah, but it's all wet. Water to clean. <gasps> You'll have to dig around it and make sure you don't damage the the gem. Mm -hmm. I think they're air bubbles. Make sure you don't poke yourself when it slips, okay? This is a tiger's eye gem. I did not know yeah. it was a tiger's eye. Let's see, I'm gonna find tiger's eye in the book. Here it is. Tiger's this one right there. Eye. Do you wanna see, Dragon? No, it's started from the camera. Okay. The tiger's eye. I think I found something. Is mainly in South Africa and East Asia. See? Another one? Yeah, I think so. It's part of the quartz family. And Roman soldiers used to wear tiger's eye for protection in battle. Wow. They used to believe that it protected them when they were fighting. I'm gonna bring the camera over. You want some water? Yeah. There we go. Ooh, what kind is that, I wonder? That kind, it kind of looks like the really, really, really um, hot, the really, really hot eye lens. Mm. Mm. Um, in space. See? It's the one that has like all... Like a hot the, planet? Yeah, a hot mm -hmm. planet. Maybe the red planet. Which red planet? Because um, oh, Ma Mars yeah. is the red planet, but it's not necessarily really hot. It just is full of volcanoes. No, it has um, the dirt on Mars is red. They have red dirt. So it makes the planet look like it's red. It's wiggling like my tooth. <laughs> it's wiggling like your tooth? Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, it's Ooh. a big chunk. Do you want to put it in here? Okay. So, um, I, I think um, all of the jewels are over here. Because there's... Cousin? Mm-hmm. It's like every time I try to dig, I see one. Did you find another one already? I found two. See? There's oh, one yeah. right there and one right there. I think this is um, part of food gourd. The family of that. I just think so. Oh, Ooh. you might be right. Oh my goodness, there's another one right there. Yes, that I, I see one. Clean it off. So this one. I think it's the pyrite we were talking about earlier. It does look like fool's gold. It's shiny. And here's this one. I'm gonna put that one in. So let me look up the pyrite so there's pyrite and pyrite is a shiny yellow gold color of crystal and it often led people to believe they found gold yep it is fool's gold so they nicknamed it fool's gold it comes from the greek word for fire because it could create sparks when struck against steel so if you strike this against steel it can cause sparks Ooh, um, we we have to keep that safe. We we could use that for fire. Mm -hmm. And this other pink one here is rose quartz. Had another one. And rose quartz. Let's see. Many believe that the color comes from iron, titanium, and manganese impurities within the stone. Did you put another one in? I just thought so. Yes, okay. Here's another one that Dragon found. Um, hey cousin, um, I think this is all where, um, where you find it. This might be a hematite. So here's hematite. The coloring's a little bit different. But... Can I see? Oh, yeah. I think, yeah. um, that one so hematite is a mineral form of iron oxide and it's usually gray in appearance and that one this one is gray that you found its name comes from the greek word for blood mm -hmm. it has blood red colored streaks sometimes Oh, and um, hematite can be found on Mars. We were just talking about Mars. I think I found another one, cousin. There's some water to clean it up. Oh, oh man, that's a pretty one. Cousin, look in the book. I think I saw that in the book. I think so too, but we want to watch you dig it out. And then I'll find it. some water on it again because it was so pretty when you did that. It's so clear. Yeah. Right. Can you hold it up for the camera? to clean it. That is a quartz crystal. A quartz? Mm -hmm. Can I see? Yeah, hold on. There it is. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's the one I saw. So the quartz crystal is the second most common mineral in the Earth's con continental crust. And there's different colors. 
um, amethyst, tiger's eye, and citrine are all types of quartz. So far we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six? Six crystals or six gems. One of all the windy one. What do you mean? It kind of looks like the windy planet. Oh. The the storm. Well, Jupiter has lots of storms. Yeah, and it's blue. Jupiter is brownish, kind of. What's the one that um is blue, cousin? Um, Mercury is kind of blue. Your uh maybe Neptune is blue. Okay, I think that's... Or maybe yep. it's greenish. I'm not sure exactly. I think I found something. Put some water right here. Right here. Oh yeah, I think that's something. I found something. See something? Mm-hmm. So pour some water. some water here. Well, I found two things. I got one. Let's see what this is. This looks like sol sodalite. Sodalite. It's a bright blue, blue, bright blue mineral, and it got its name from the high sodium content. So lots of sodium in here. It contains white veins or streaks that make it particularly beautiful. And large pieces are often sliced into slabs and highly polished for collectors. So there's a lot of this found in Afghanistan and Brazil, originally discovered in Greenland. This is also called the poet's stone or the stone of truth, reflecting the belief that it's a stone of rational thinking and clear communication. That's so interesting. Oh, this, I wonder if this is a geode. Oh, put it back. Push it. Let's see. I think it might be. What do you think, geode? Oh, I think so. Geode. So, this says perhaps the most fascinating of all rock formations. Uh, geodes are hollow rocks in which beautiful crystals have been formed. So they look like rocks on the outside like this, and then there's crystals inside when you break it open. And these round rocks get their name from the Greek word for shape of the earth. They may look plain on the outside, but you never know what glorious beauty waits inside a geode until you crack it open. That? Until yes. you crack that open? Right. We, we're gonna have to go out that over. Well, that one is kind of already cracked open. Normally, they just look like round rocks on the outside, and then it's like that on the inside. Whoa, is that what I think it is? Scrape it. Okay, ready? Like 
maybe a fluorite crystal, or maybe it's another quartz. Like an egg. It's very pretty. No. See all the gems we got so far. Um. We're on. Oh, want to count? Because that's sure. the one we found. Do you want to count? Um, no. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> Another one like that. See? Pour some water. That should be counted. I know what that one is. What is it? That's a snowflake obsidian. Obsidian? You got obsidian. Mm -hmm. mm. So the snowflake obsidian looks like this in the book. Can I see? Is that up closely? Mm hmm. I mean, can I get up closely? A regular, oh, sure, go ahead. A regular type of obsidian is a volcanic oh, glass yeah. formed when certain types of lava cool so fast that crystals cannot form. When the lava cools more slowly, crystals can form and give the rock a textured appearance. The crystals that speckle the sur surface of snowflake obsidian are called spherulites, and they're formed from the mineral cris cristobalite, a type of quartz. There we go. So while you're doing that, Dragon, I kind of want to show the box so that if anybody wants to do this, just like Dragon is doing, we got this one on Amazon. And it's called, it's from National Geographic, and it's called Mega Gemstone Dig Kit. And you get 15 gems. I found another one. See? Pour some water on it so you can see better. Okay. Um, did you know, um, I heard something, um, it was something, um, um, let's see what it looks like when we pour the water. Ooh. Um, I'm going to dump the water out mm -hmm. so it's easier to see um what's deeper when it's deeper um it gets more in and then it gets more power to get out see that's a big one whoa it made marks whoa what that one's so strong Oh, I see, I see. So, um, it was like this. And when I, when I pulled it out, it broke. And then this part broke and that part broke because it was connected to both sides. Okay, you want me to wash it? Okay. Just in case that but I'm not exactly sure what it is. If we go like this, it will focus better. It has some different layers in there and different colors. Got some? Oh, Dragon got another one. Um, focus on the this one might be adventuring. 
It matches the green. So adventurine is a type of quartz, dripping. Um, it's usually a green stone, though sometimes they're blue, gray, orange, or brown. Small flakes of mica or hematite can make adventurine sparkle or glisten. It's an effect called adventurescence. And this stone was discovered by accident in Vene by Venetian glassmakers in the 1700s. They gave the Italian name Aventura, meaning by chance. It has often been considered a good luck stone, and some people believe it can enhance creativity and imagination. It's thought to stimulate dreams, promote positive outlook on life, and improve people's vision. How cool. So, Dragon, that stone will bring you good luck. There's one more in there. Oh, is there? Oh, look at this. Can I see? This looks like a fluorite to me. See that? Fluorite right here. Oh, can I tell something? Sure. Um, this um is something that um whenever it slips on steel, it, it creates a spark. And we're gonna be keeping that safe, um, just in case we're gonna be doing a fire. I don't know if we'll be making fire with uh, our crystals, but this um, adventurine sometimes will glow under ultraviolet light. And there are purple ones too, I guess. They're usually purple or green. We got a green one. count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so there's two more dragon the, um, good luck the one right there and one there oh <laughs> one crystal a closer look cousin mm -hmm. i think that one it might be the orban one because it looks Orange. kind of like it. Put some water because Oh, yeah. <gasps> it is. That is an organite. What's an organite? Well, let me read, read about it. Organite forms naturally in the shells of mollusks and the exoskeletons of coral. So it's actually from the sea. The iridescent layer inside seashells like abalone is made of thin deposits of Aragonite, aragonite. I guess it's pronounced aragonite. And pearls are comp composed mainly of this mineral. So you know pearls from um, the ocean, from oysters. Oh. Right? Yeah. Um, they're made of this aragonite. So it's also found in caves and in deposits of hot springs. People use aragonite in saltwater aquariums because it replicates natural reef conditions, but it also keeps the pH of the water close to the levels of nature. camera. Here's aragonite in the, mm -hmm. now in the we book, have and one here's more. a real aragonite. I have one more. It should be in here somewhere. Let's see if this works. It should be under one of these paintings. That's very cool. Well, I think I found it. No, that's not one. So, one more. 
Okay, do you know this whole thing is really easy to break through your hands? Hi, um, this um is all our stuff we found. This is awesome. This is called Red Jasper. Can't really see it. It's really red. Um, but um, can't really see it because that light's on. So um, and this is what it really looks like. This one's really. I like this one. But I didn't really use this. I I like just bam like that. Yeah, whatever. That. And this is called Full Jeweled, and um, it's really pretty. And um, it's it's like this. Um, it's fake gold. And this one's my favorite. This is a real jewel. Crystal. It's a crystal. And this is a lion's eye. Tiger's eye. Tiger's eye. What's this? Quartz. This one's quartz. This one's um look at this. It's floor white. And um do you want to sit closer? I have a magnifying glass. This much the sharpest. Bye. <laughs> Subscribe to our video.